Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler V series V's I've been doing for a little while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. It is raining a bit. So if you can hear a little pitter-patter, it's not the pitter-patter of little feet. That's just, it's just raining. It's just, it's also why I'm extra gloomy today. So I'm definitely going to have to go over there when I come up with a thumbnail. Definitely going to have to go over there and do a little, little, uh, little correction here, there to give myself a little bit more vibrancy. But anyway, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Well, so I'm doing so. I'm the Amarod Bob for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that. Okay. I just got a weird notification. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside my truck and I got the grody work clothes on, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. I just got off of work. Went over there and I was like, ah, you know what? I need some supplies, but it's raining. I don't really want to like make like a full trip. So instead of going out to like the Walmart or any of the other places I normally would, I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm just going to go over there. I'm going to hit hit up the Walgreens. It's on my way. So I went to the Walgreens. I picked up a couple things. I'm looking around, trying to find stuff. And what should I find, folks? Well, boom, it's a Transformer. But that doesn't mean it. I just, I collect Transformers. And it was cool that I found Red Alert here just in their toy section. Ah! So if you ever needed a reason to unsubscribe for me. <laughs> if, if it turns you off that I'm into Transformers, I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna keep loving them. But no, I actually did find a thing to review. What is that thing? Boom, it's Reese's Big Cup, but specifically the Reese's Caramel Big Cup. Look at it, it's, it's I mean, it's, yeah, okay. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I've been looking for these. Seriously, I've been trying to find these for a little while now because I heard they were announced and stuff. And I was like, okay, keeping an eye out. None of my normal spots carried them. I did go over there a couple days ago. Uh, I was coming out of a Thornton's and I saw it as I was leaving. And I was like, I'm not going to get back in line for one fucking item. I'll, I'll wait until I run into it again. Finally ran into it again. The, uh, the lady who was at the register assured me that these are very good. And that she is somebody who is very discerning with her Reese's. So I have high hopes. Let's give them a go. I think the last Reese's that I did was like the ones with the Reese's puffs in them. Go watch that review if you want my my full opinion on it. I like Reese's. Reese's are good. Hopefully they'll be even better with caramel. So, it's a big old cup. I remember when you could only buy the big cup as one cup. When they first came out with it, they're like, no, no man can handle two big cups at one time. You can only buy the one cup. Yeah. A little caramel there. Very bomb. I dig that. That's not bad. Um, it's. I was a little bit worried about it being maybe too sweet. Mm, Reese's are pretty sweet as is. Got yeah, caramel to that. Is it too sweet? I'm not saying no. I mean, if you're already if it, a normal Reese's is too sweet for you, this isn't going to help your situation. But I don't find it to be too too sweet. Um, it's definitely a little bit richer, and I actually am a little bit surprised because I went, I looked at the packaging. It almost tastes like a, a little bit of a salted caramel thing, but I'm guessing that's maybe just from like the peanut aspect of it. Like maybe that's kind of working with it a little bit, give it almost like a salted caramel flavor. Um, it's not bad. It gives a little extra depth. It gives a little something, something. It's not bad. Um, ah. I like it. I 
looked a little weird. But, like, not in a bad way. It's kind of, like, here's exactly what it's like. I wouldn't have, ex I wouldn't expect any of you to have done this, but who knows. It's like if you took a Reese's and you took a Carmelo bar. And you just decided you're going to wolf them down at the exact same time. Because there definitely is a point, like at the very beginning, where the caramel is kind of at its strongest. And it kind of tastes like you're eating a Carmelo bar. Which for me, or Caramelo, I don't know. Uh, that works out nicely because Caramellos or Carmelos, what the fuck ever, are literally one of my favorite candy bars. Like they're, they're one of those like go-to ones for me when I'm like, ooh, I'm going to treat myself. <laughs> um... But it kind of goes through different phases. Like, at the very beginning, caramel's probably the most prominent. Then, it becomes a little bit more of a fusion, you know? And then you kind of get, like, speckles throughout. Like, it's sort of, you know, you get sort of the peanut butter hit, and then you get a hit of caramel. Like, it, it only, like, really fuses as you're eating it in, like, let's say you're... <laughs> Let's say you're the entire eating experience, let's chop it up into four quarters, right? I would say in the second quarter, that's when it's the most, like, the, the flavors are fused together the most. Then, by the time you get to the third quarter, it starts kind of speckling around a little bit more, and you start getting more just the peanut butter. And then kind of by the end, it's a little bit just sort of here or there as to what, what you're going to get. Um, they're good, so, like, when it comes to the Reese's, like, oh, I'm always happy when Reese's puts out a new thing. But, like, not all of them are fucking winners. Um, like you said, the Reese's Puff one that I did the review of, I, I didn't think it was all that great. Um, they did the potato chip one, which I also reviewed. Go watch that review, which amazingly is still on fucking store shelves. I would have thought that one would have been a one-off. But it's still around. Um, the thing for me is when you're going to add something to a Reese's, like, a Reese's is already damn near perfect. So if you're going to add something, I need it to bring something and hopefully detract as little from the overall situation. And a lot of times when they add stuff, I don't know, man, it's, it just kind of diminishes the value of the Reese's for me. With this, although I will say, I think fundamentally a proper normal Reese's is still going to be my go-to. This one, at the very least, I'm willing to give it to it. The amount of Reese's diminishment versus what the caramel adds is reasonable. I'm willing to go with it. Plus, I like that it's interesting because, again, like with the the ones with the puffs in them, it was just kind of like, it really didn't do anything for me all that much. It wasn't even all that interesting. It was more just a texture thing. With these, it's like, no, there's definitely a distinct difference. And again, it's got almost like a salted caramel kind of thing going on for it. And I, I, I like it. Call me crazy, I like it. Um, to be fair, I did go over there at 37 years old and buy a Transformer from Walgreens. But look at him! He's Red Alert! I don't, I don't particularly have a great fondness for Red Alert. I don't have anything against him. He's just not one of my favorite characters, but I try to collect all of the G1 characters as much as possible. Uh, anyway. Transformer nonsense aside. Two questions I have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes, yes. As I stated before... It is not going to go over there and replace classic Reese's for me. But, the thing that I would sort of equate it to the closest, I think, would be the Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. Which I reviewed, by the way. It's like my second ever review. Go watch that review if you want to see younger Brandon. <laughs> um, I like the Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. It's good. It is not, it, it definitely did not supplant the Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is still my go-to, but I like the cream soda, and once in a while, that's what I want to grab. This would be that for me. I'm not going to go for it every time, but every now and again, it is going to be that thing where I'm like, I want to get in on that. And if I'm recommending it, I mean, I think fundamentally, if you enjoy Reese's, this is a good one. I really do think that this is a pretty solid one, and it doesn't feel as, like, gimmicky as some of the other ones that have come out. I just, I mean, caramel's good, and like I said, has sort of a, you know, Carmelo bar aspect to it. I personally like it, and I think that, I think most people would. I think if you're a Reese's fan, you'll enjoy it. If you're not a Reese's fan, I don't think it's going to change your mind. But five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, spend this rest of your folks, you go over there, you have yourself a truly 
Carmelo Bar Tastic Rescue Live. Maybe I'll review Carmelo Bar. I mean, they've been around forever, but I, you know, I, I could do it. You watch, I could do it. I don't know if I'll do it. I don't think it would be a very interesting review. Just be me sitting there just eating at home. Oh. That's good. Oh. But if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not as possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. You're just going to do folks who are going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. It's rough, folks. It just is. You know, some days are really frustrating and stressful. And, you know, all you can do is just kind of do what you can. It's important, though, that while we're doing what we can... And when we do run into those situations in our lives, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, <coughs> maybe you're going to watch this review, and maybe instead of going over there and getting a Reese's Caramel Big Cup, instead maybe you're going to go over there and be like, you know what, I'm going to go get a Carmelo bar. I haven't had a Carmelo bar in ages. So then you go get a Carmelo bar and you eat it. And it's wonderful and fantastic. And then maybe you hit me up in the comments and be like, Brandon, I ate a Carmelo bar. It was astonishing. It's a thing of beauty. I need to watch you do a review of a Carmelo bar. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, I mean, you know, we'll fit it in somewhere. I don't know when. Because at any given point in time... I have so many videos backed up. That's why I had to start uploading more and more of them. For a while, I was just doing one a day, and that was fine. And then I had to start doing two a day, because it was like, well, no, I, I need to start emptying out my, my backlog. And then finally, I got to the point where now I'm doing three a day, because it's just like, I just, I'm literally running out of space. So I guess that's a good problem to have. I guess, I don't know. But anyway, um, or conversely, uh, try out the, the Reese's Big Cup, or Caramel Big Cup, and let me know. Hit me up in the comments and be like, hey, I liked it, I thought it was fantastic, or I hated it and you're terrible and you're awful at the reviews that you do. I mean, I could take it, you know. <laughs> it's a little mean, but, you know. Anyway, bye.